We've got, something, we've got something special, actually, to oh. show Luis Garcia okay. while he is here. Uh -huh. Yeah, are we, we're taking this moment to do so. Uh, this oh. is a <laughs> very special moment, and uh, <laughs> Luis Garcia will probably know why we're showing a nice picture of you guys all together. Pretty hair, pretty because uh, hair. Cesc Fabregas has been, I wouldn't say telling tales, because he's been telling the truth, but he's been telling us things we didn't know too much about in an interview with Gary Lineker, Luis Garcia. And uh, would you like to tell us that story from your point of view? Yeah, of course. Now that we can we can talk about because uh, Sex has decided to go ahead and 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 talk about the the story in the, at the World Cup. Uh, that's the, the 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 lunch that we were having in one of the days uh, at the World Cup. We have a, a, a day off, so we decided that the group of uh, the Barcelona players that from coming from the academy to share a meal. And right after we decided to go back. It was a little bit late. It was dark, and we grab a taxi and on the way, on our way back. There was a few fans that, that they were just making noise and stopping the, the, the car. So uh, in that moment, we stopped to try to take a picture with them. And well, Sef Fabregas uh, just opened the door. He didn't realize that we were in the middle of the, of the street. And right on the right side, there was a line of bikes. So uh, a cyclist was just going through and smashed against the, the, um, the door of the car, flew over the car and land on the, on the street. So of course uh, we didn't know what to do. We okay, went out of, of the car. Uh, I grabbed the, that that guy that he was on the floor just complaining. That he, he was hurt, and the moment that I grabbed it and tried to pull him up, I realized that he was playing on the head, on his head. So I, I we got a little bit scared, and a couple of police arrived and they start talking with us. Listen, what just happened? This is what happened. Uh, since Fabria had a very good English, I had. A decent, not very good English. Xavi and Puyol and Iniesta couldn't speak English, so we start talking and trying to understand what was the situation. So they decided to take us to the uh, police station, and once there, only uh, one person could go into with uh, in, go into the police station with Seth Fabregas. We decided to go in, I uh, go in with him, and they start explaining in, in strange English that we couldn't understand the situation. So the team manager arrived. With us, they tell us that we have to pay a, a fine uh, because of this situation. And finally, after two or three hours, they allowed us to, to go back to, to the hotel and, and join the, the rest of the expedition of the national team. And well, what it was one of the fantastic days that we were enjoying. It became one of the worst days because we didn't know what was going to happen. If we were going to stay there, it was going to be a big news on the on the papers about us, uh, uh, just in the World Cup happening this in Germany of our behavior and everything. But uh, we were fortunate enough that no one heard anything about it. And well, um, it was a, a good history, a, a, a nice history because the guy ended up, nothing happened to him. Uh, he was at the hospital for, for just a few hours, a few stitches on, the, on his head and could go, go away. So no problem with us. And for us to don't stay with the police for longer because we had uh, three days after a very important game. So, so before we let you go, Sesk did end the interview by remembering that he actually still owed you money because you paid the fine for him. Has he since got in touch and paid you that money back? Yeah, the, I mean, uh, it was just a moment we paid. I cannot even remember how much uh, did we pay, but uh, it was 19. It was a, so he's a, such a nice guy, a little bit distracted sometimes, <laughs> but definitely a nice guy. <laughs> and I, I didn't even remember that, that, that I paid the fine, but yes, definitely I did. And I spoke with him a couple of days ago because I wasn't expecting him to, to tell that story, but it was, um, well, a good story, something that we remember that it wasn't the best thing that we remember of uh, the 2006, but definitely a, a story to tell. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.